Very, very dry, no rain. This is just part of life. I am hustling to try to get this done as fast as I can. Straight line. All right, guys, so we've, uh, we just stretched the wire all the way down. Here, you can kind of see it. I bump it a little bit. I left this tree when I was doing all the clearing with uh, the skid steer. This was too big to cut with the mega saw and the skid steer anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut it down because it is bending it a little bit here and I don't want it to be a problem in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this a big tree down. I'm not even sure exactly what kind of tree it is, but I was gonna leave it for some shade and whatnot. But I think we got plenty of trees out here. Got a lot of pecan trees too. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy down and uh, get rid of it. tree at least it's out of the way now this first line will be pretty close up here anyways so that'll work out we should do the first line about 16 inches it's where we like to put the first line especially if you're only doing five wires if you're doing six you may have to go a little bit lower but 15 16 inch tall range that's about right so if i need to carve more out i can but as long as we spray it, barbed wire can hit right. Yeah, there you go, done.
got a little help right here. Got my cousin's son on, you know, getting after it, workaholic. Anyways, he's helping me out here. We're trying to get some work done before it gets too hot. We've got our lines marked with our tape and our paint every 10 feet to drive some a T-post in the ground. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. So we're gonna set our T-post out. I'm using some T-posts actually that I pulled up on this property and uh, they're in good shape. T-posts last a long time. Some of them were a little bent and I straightened them out, but that's okay. Went ahead and you see the tree I cut down. I gotta push it out of the way with the skid steer, but uh, little steps here at a time since we've pulled our first line here, our first barbed wire, which means we can go off that line because it's a perfect straight line for us and we can get our T-post going uh, right there. So uh, we're gonna start getting the T-post out and then drive them. That's where we're at. We, uh, we are just trying to hustle as much as we can to try to, um, we are just trying to hustle just as much as we can to get the bison out on this uh, pasture right here. It has got grass in it and it's got weeds, but my, my favorite thing about this is that it has cover and the sun has just been beating down the plants, whatever is left uh, as far as native grasses. So. Um, even if the weeds are here, it's good that they are providing cover and shade uh, and, and good for the soil and uh, good for the, the plants that do exist here. So when the bison are released here, hopefully in a couple of weeks, once we get all this fencing done, um, they'll have more to graze on because it is still very, very dry and uh, with no rain. And so this is just part of life. And so I am hustling to try to get this done as fast as I can, but this will be one of the pastures and, and I love it because that's the way it should look, right? Wide open and I uh, can't wait to get them out here. So we are just west 
of pasture one and two. This would be uh, the back of that. Uh, so that's 20, 20. This would be 40 acres here. And then eventually we'll split it and make it another 20, 20. So yeah, that's it. Can't wait to get them out here though. Late evening, sun setting, um, getting a little late evening uh, welding done. I was able to get my post set, which you've seen. I've been doing that, uh, but I just went off here. An existing H brace. Looks like we'll need a new gate. The tree I cut down uh, decided to go on the gate, not where I wanted it. My fault. But uh, I got our down brace here that we started doing. I like it and. Uh, this is just a five wire cross fence and it will end up uh, here in what I call a nine acre lot, halfway lot between um, two big pastures. So been getting some uh, work done uh, early in the mornings and uh, now I'm just getting a little bit here in the late evening just because it's so hot and um, put some uh, down braces here or uh, some uprights, some posts for uh, to strengthen as we go down into this sort of creek bottom here. So that's why we do that. I'll, I'll, this is what Richard, I learned this from Richard, but he put a chain links. He welded those chain links on there and you can keep this down whenever you go to stretch it really tight across there. So anyways, hope you guys uh, had fun watching me and Ryder out here, my little cousin. His dad and I spent a lot of time together um, growing up as kids and, and we we spent a lot of time outside basically and um now i get to hang out with his son and he was out here helping me smart little kid works really hard they don't make him like him anymore i mean different different for sure work a little holic and uh i appreciate it so i've got two two helpers out here right now elsa i've been dropping her off at the barn when i come over here and work and i brought her down here for the evening but uh, she's been staying at the Ponderosa barn and hanging out and hanging out with Brooks's chickens. So it's also fun letting the yearlings out into a new pasture, which they were super excited about that. And uh, that's always fun. I always tell you, I'm going to bring you along on that. And so luckily I just was able to catch it, have the drone up and get them running and whatnot. So thank you guys for watching and following us along. And we, uh, we appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.